they were in, they were doing their thing and they were getting out. New at 11, thieves blast through two businesses with a shotgun, grabbing what they want and getting away. And tonight, the search is on for the suspects who are striking early in the morning. Nine on your side's John Genovese reports from Ross Township with why federal agents are now getting involved. Well, the most recent break in happened here at the Center Mass Defense gun shop just before two in the morning. The owner says these people shot out the front door, then took three to eight guns prompting the ATF to get involved in a day earlier. The sheriff's office believes the same bandits shot up a convenience store seven miles away. Caught on camera wearing hooded sweatshirts and black masks up to their eyes. The door was completely disintegrated. All the glass was was out. John Bryfogle owns the Okeana Quick Stop off Cincinnati Brookville Road. They go over the counter. They um, start grabbing cigarette packs with packs of Newport Reds and some knives in hand. Watching his surveillance video, he says that's when these thieves took off. We emptied some of the product, the hostess pies here, because they had buckshot in them, or birdshot, shall I say. Staff like Patricia Skaronsky were left dealing with the damage. Fortunately, it was at 3 o'clock in the morning. What if it had been when we were here? A day later and 10 minutes down the road, the Butler County Sheriff's Office believes the same people broke into the Center Mass Defense gun store, taking at least three weapons, some rifles, some handguns and ammunition, but not before shooting up the walls, destroying shelves and leaving a second mess behind. This is just somebody who's, I don't know, they got something that uh, I got something that they don't. Two break ins in two days and both business owners now hoping for the same thing. My main thing is that I don't want somebody else getting having happened to them what happened to me. Now the owner here says these thieves caused around $4,000 worth of damage and if you know who they are, the Butler County Sheriff's Office is urging you to call. In Ross Township, John Genovese 9 on your side.